I saw this imposter say that Elkar is the best pistol right now. But is it true? Let me, a god of stats, show you the truth of Elkar. Since this is a pistol, we expect good mobility and our movement is 6.70 meters per second which is much slower than 7.26 meters per second that all melee weapons have. Thus, pistol isn't an alternative to melee if your only utility is running fast on the map and melee will still be preferred to use for going to crucial positions on the map faster. But our ADS movement is 4.17 meters per second and this is what we see on aggressive SMGs like Fennec. And while this may be one of the fastest base ADS movement speeds right now in the game, we can boost it by 24% getting 5.17 meters per second which is like ASP45 and other aggressive SMGs. This is useful as it allows us to ADS and move thereby not making any footstep sounds without using that silence and without the green laser light showing which reveals our position. It is very useful for playing stealthily and pushing spots on the map discreetly. And now is a good time to leave a like and a comment to help support the video. Our ADS speed is fast at 11 frames and for comparison aggressive SMGs usually have 13 frames for their ADS speed. So it's just slightly faster than them. And our sprint to ADS to naked eye will look instant as 3 frames and 60 frames per second is like 5% which is a very small number. And 8 frames for sprint to hip fires on the faster side as aggressive SMGs like MAC-10 and Fennec have it at 12 frames while KSP has it at 11 frames. This puts forward the question if sprint to fire attachments are worth using but more on that later. Our fire rate is 720 rounds per minute which is faster than some of the meta guns like Kilo 141 and similar to Peacekeeper and AMAX. But unlike these weapons the Elkar is not at all versatile as we will usually have 5 shot kill till 6.1 meters with 333 milliseconds time to kill hitting all leg shot. And there is potential for faster time to kill as our hitbox is divided into below the waist, above the waist and head. So potentially we have 4 shot kill with 250 milliseconds time to kill if and only if we hit all 4 out of 4 shots to the upper body which commonly in 6 meter range we may be hip firing. So chances of 333 milliseconds time to kill is likely but if you can ADS and maintain good aim then 250 milliseconds is possible. But it is going to be hard cause people are jumping and sliding around and it only takes 1 bullet to lower the waist to drop a time to kill by 83 milliseconds and that is the punishment for missing shots making Elkar a high skill weapon and punishing to use. Our next range is still 12 meters and technically we have 6 shot kill hitting all leg shots with 417 milliseconds time to kill but only 1 shot to upper body is all it takes for a 5 shot kill which is going to be easy to get thus we can maintain 333 milliseconds time to kill till 12 meters no issues. Beyond 12 meters we have infinite 8 shot kill range with 583 milliseconds time to kill which is very punishing to use as there are many guns which can maintain around 250 milliseconds time to kill till 20 meters and beyond. So Elkar is completely outclassed and don't even think about using this beyond 12 meters. And there isn't much hope for faster time to kill as 7 shots is going to be inconsistent due to poor ADS bullet spread, cover more on this in a bit and 7 shot time to kill is 500 meters per second which is still slow and we will get outgunned by pretty much any other gun. So our effective range for using this weapon is still 12 meters and that's it. Now some may be thinking, oh I can just range boost and stonks but the only worthy attachment for range boost gives us 7.2 meters and 14.4 meters as the first and second range. Which is better than before but 7.2 meters is considered have fire range and our usual time to kill will be 333 milliseconds which is the same at 12 meters as well. Thus range boost does not help this first range and 2 meter difference is barely anything as just a simple slide will help create more gap between us and the enemy so 12 meters is enough for getting out of sticky situations which is when we usually use pistols that is when we don't have ammo in our main weapon and by taking advantage of our fast mobility we can get a kill on the enemy in 12 meter range and exchange the pistol for a main weapon and then we have free overkill perk advantage without overkill and finally have stonks so range boosting isn't viable for this weapon and the other range attachments gives worse mobility which isn't worth using don't forget to share this video on your social media so more people can see it. We get 20 bullets in base mag which is plenty to get 2 kills on average, even 3 kills sometimes and we take 1.1 seconds to reload cancel when doing the standard reload which is when we reload while still having ammo in the mag. And 1.1 seconds is pretty fast already but we can boost it further by 30% using attachments giving us 0.8 second reload cancel which is one of the fastest in the game and weapon switch times are fast as expected of secondary weapons. One thing to note, using 2 attachments for better reload speed may not give 
give us an optimal build, but more on this later. Iron sights are pretty clean and usable and optics are not needed and recoil may be considered bad by most people as it has strong pull towards right when we start shooting and it ends up changing direction and going diagonally towards upper left after shooting like 16 bullets. So if using base mag just stop shooting around 16 bullets and you'll be fine. Otherwise if using extended mag then you can learn the recoil pattern after 16 bullets or just stop shooting maybe do a slide and start shooting again. As someone who mains the older peacekeeper and older BPSH when both of these guns had terrible recoil patterns. Elka recoil is nothing special and quite easy to get used to but I am considered the god of recoil as well. Why using foregrip is a viable alternative. We also need to get used to tracking left and right with this weapon as we need to move our fingers faster for enemies moving towards the left side of the screen and slower for enemies moving towards the right side of the screen as recoil is also moving towards that direction. This needs some getting used to and not as difficult especially since this is a close range pistol and aim assist is strong in close range which will help with our tracking. ADS bullet spread is pretty bad and I wouldn't recommend using it for range at all. But you already know this even if ADS bullet spread would be good. The 12 meter effective range would not allow us to take advantage of good ADS bullet spread. One note, right now when hip firing there is no recoil which is likely a bug. Thus the pistol is good featuring high mobility but low range and there is also a skill aspect to using this but what makes this pistol better to use compared to others like MW11 or 50GS is the fire rate. MW11 can be made to shoot fast with attachments but not as fast as Elgar and 50GS is even slow to shoot but only takes 2 shots to kill which gives it potentially good time to kill but people end up shooting like 3-4 shots for a kill either way making the time to kill slower as punishment for missing shots is higher for slower firing guns and same goes for both weapons as well why Renity isn't that popular either. But this is where Elgar shines. The faster fire it allows us to get kills pretty consistently in this fast ADS movement meta which is where slow firing guns usually suffer as the tracking is not as smooth in comparison and practically we tend to use pistols in clutch situations usually close ranges cause if there is gap between us and the enemy we can reload our main weapon and use it. Thus the utility of pistol is for helping us when we cannot reload our main weapon. Why 12 meter range isn't a huge drawback. Personally I did not think I was at a disadvantage playing within the 12 meter range as the fast ADS movement allows me to dodge enemy bullets and 333 milliseconds time to kill along with fast fire rate is like main weapon. Although 333 milliseconds is slower compared to other guns which have fast time to kill but we also have faster mobility to compensate. God Mobile can boost this 12 meter range slightly to like 60 meters at best but boosting it too much will make the gun unbalanced. For snipers who use pistols for clearing hit markers they can also use the L car no issues. By the way do join a discord server for finding the best gunsmith builds. Coming to best attachments. Only agency suppressor is worth using for muzzles. Integral suppressor might seem enticing but agency is better. Optics is up to you. I will prefer using iron sights. And for stocks, I don't recommend the agile stock. Coming back to the question I had mentioned earlier. Is sprint to fire attachment worth using? Usually we use them for having fast reactions in hip fire situations and testing these attachments. Marathon stock made these sprints to hip fire faster by only one frame. Same with the red cell foregrip. So combined we get two frames faster sprints to hip fire at six frames for the drawback of maybe not having an optimal build. The ADS capability of this gun is very strong. Pretty much instant sprints to ADS while having fast ADS speed. Thus if you can go into hip fire from ADS we can bypass sprint to hip fire completely without needing to use any attachments for it. I personally do this frequently cause I have this habit of tending to ADS even in close range situations and going into hip fire from ADS will be faster cause we can cancel these sprints to ADS completely 0 milliseconds and I cover more on this topic here. But a common way to do this is jump ADS and then move into hip fire if needed. Also having separate fire buttons is an advantage as we can shoot without needing to complete the ADS animation which will give us faster reactions. We can cancel into hip fire from ADS while sliding as well but there is a delay that happens which may be a bug Why jump to ADS and then hip fire will be preferred. And if you do this then building a gunsmith for sprint to fire is completely pointless. Why I don't recommend attachments for it as Elgar works better for ADS. Why adjusting a playstyle will be good and playing to the strengths of this weapon is for the better. But if you want feel free to use two attachments or even a single attachment for sprint to fire. 7 frames for sprint to fire is pretty fast at on par with HIFA specific builds for other guns like the Fennec and MAG-10. Anyway firm grip is overall best as we get 3 frames faster ADS speed for the con of making sprint to fire slower by 1 frame. So we still have 2 frames faster ADS speed advantage. And only sprint to HIFA is a con which is only in stats number. Cos 
also print to ADS can be cancelled and made 0 milliseconds and we can go into have fire from ADS as the value of sprint to have fire does not matter. Russell is second best and sturdy as needed. For max, extended mag is best and if using fast reload then we can use it with sleight of hand for super fast reloads and for 4 groups except field agent all the others are usable and for laser only use combat laser. Boosting ADS bullet spread isn't worth it. The base have fast spread is pretty bad by the need for using combat laser but even with the laser the have fast spread isn't as good as some of the other aggressive SMGs why more for reason to ADS and shoot whenever possible to maintain good accuracy. KSP 45 is the other new weapon that was released this season and I have an in-depth analysis if you want to give it a watch. Thus for our gunsmith build just make sure to use the combat laser and do not use attachments that make our ADS speed slower. I use firm grip for faster ADS speed and suppressor helps in concealing our location. And I was using this in the clips you see. I chose fast reload over extended mag cause with 20 bullets recoil does not get worse and is easy to manage and 0.8 seconds reload cancel is very fast that even mid gunfight if you do a slide and reload a reload is completed quickly and we can go back into fighting again. However, Extended Mag does the same thing, as 0.8 seconds for 20 bullets versus 30 bullets in 1.2 seconds are equivalent. And we can stop shooting and then shoot again to not get the shift and recall. And we only use one attachment slot when using Extended Mag, why I'll recommend this for a standard build, with this as an option for super fast reload, and also this for better sprint to fire, with Striker Foregrip being an option and also this. Although one note, 3% for movement speed does not do much, why instead of this it is much better to use the light stock instead as faster ADS movement speed will help us more and this is the best overall gunsmith for Elgar pistol and we can use this as alternative if you don't need sound suppression and even this. All of these builds are pretty much similar so feel free to choose any of them. For BR gunsmith, wait why are you using this gun for BR? <laughs> like, comment and share to help support the video and bye.